Yo, what's up guys, it's me Jake here, and today I'm going to be doing a video about the series I want published in English. Now, I'm going to be doing some that were actually already published somewhat in English, but didn't get to finish and got cancelled. I'm just going to let that be known before I start. But, as I was saying, um, I'm probably just going to start this off with Gintama. Now, if you don't know, Gintama had, I think, 23 volumes. The number amount will be right here. I had, like, 23 or 22 volumes published in English. I was at 77, and then never finished because Viz canceled it. But I think Viz keeps a lot of those singles still in print, and I don't know why, because if they cancel the series, why keep most of the singles in print? But, what can you do? But... I loved the Gintama's anime. I'm not finished with it yet, but I'm loving it so far. It's an amazing anime. The serious arcs are really, really good. And the comedy just keeps getting better and better because as you get closer to these characters, you get to see their personalities more and see how the comedy me uh, meshes with their personalities. is really, really great, and I really do enjoy that. So I cannot wait to get... I, I can't wait because it's not coming out, but I just want Viz to actually finish publishing Gintama because... It's such a such a good series and it probably would sell well nowadays because now that the manga community has grown They probably would buy it and since it's a big name title It's one of the titles I was like competing against the big three at the time and it still was doing very well So I think it would do pretty well nowadays But you definitely need to know a lot about Japanese culture to like Gintama so I can see why they did they canceled it plus I don't think it was selling too well at the time, but Man, oh man, I just wish Gintama just stayed in print so that we can have more Gintama. But yeah, done Gintama. We're just going to get into the next series now. And the next series is kind of like Gintama with how it got cancelled. And that is Kitakyo Hitman Reborn. Now, if you don't know about anything about Reborn, it's an amazing series. The anime is great. The first 20-ish episodes were when... Uh, it was pretty crap. I mean, the beginning was very bad because it went from a comedy, which was not good at all, to a straight up battle shonen after 20 episodes, which that battle shonen is one of my favorite battle shonens of all time. Kitakyo Hitman Reborn is such a good anime, and it got like I think 16 of its volumes printed in English out of 42, and that's just not right for me because I feel like once that 16th volume hit, it was starting to pick up. That's around where it starts to pick up in the uh, manga. Now, I'm not saying before that isn't good, because it's really good from, like, after the comedy element, which is, I think, at, like, volume three from there on. But I feel like a lot of people didn't like those first three volumes, so they dropped it. So that's why the sales weren't doing too hot. Mostly because it's still a very popular series nowadays when you talk about it in the anime community. I feel like anyone who watches Shonen in the anime community has, at one point, watched Kotakyo Hitman Reborn because it's just one of those titles that are just well known and has a massive fan base and it's such a good title so i don't know why this will never continue this because i feel like they won't ever continue printing reborn which is kind of sad because it even had the 17th cover like confirmed and then but i think it was legal issues that kind of made reborn not actually get print like it's like get canceled but i don't know exactly it might be legal issues it might not uh i'll put it right here if it was or wasn't but yeah i want reborn so please Viz, just give me reborn <laughs> Next up on this list is Kimono G-Head. Now, if you don't know, I made a video on that. The link will be in the description below. And I think two episodes are out when this video will be going out. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying Kimono G-Head. I think it's the next shonen that's coming up. But it's just not, it doesn't have English print, which is kind of sad. It only has 13 volumes right now. So it definitely still has a chance. But it also is a monthly series. So I don't see how it would be catching up to that any soon. Because it's like a Moriarty situation where... We're very far behind on the Moriarty manga, and it's monthly, so we're getting them like every five months, which is not great publishing time for that, kind of trying to pick up, but what, what can you do? I don't think we're ever going to catch up to the Moriarty manga until it ends, and we're catching up to the ending, kind of like what would happen with Komodo Jinhan as well, which is sad to say because... I really love Kimono Jihan so far. I'm about to read the scans for the manga soon because I really want to see how good of an adaptation the anime is or if the anime is just insanely good. So yeah, I'm, I, I want to read that manga so bad. I think that it's one of those shonens that are coming up that's unknown, but it's very, very good. And I think that I've already checked out the first chapter of the manga and I do really like the art style for it. So I really feel like it would be doing good. And the, also the covers and spines are amazing. So I feel like... It would have it would sell pretty well in my opinion. I feel like if you were to put this in a Barnes and Nobles with doing the spines right, 
the spines alone could probably be like, ooh, I might want to pick that up because it looks cool. You know what I mean? So I definitely want Komodo Jihan to get print because I feel like it could really do well. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, on to the next series. Now, next up on this list is something that none of you will be surprised about, and that is Ace of Diamonds. Now, I really, really love Ace of Diamonds. I even made a video on it. The link will be in the description below for that because it kind of bombed. But I do think Ace of Diamonds is a really good, very good, actually, sports manga and anime. I've read up to Act 2 in the manga, and I'm like, I already read, watched all the anime, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I love this manga, and I love this anime. This is a very, very, very good manga and anime. I think it would have been done so, so well, but it's just my opinion, because there's not many sports, not sports, but baseball manga really printed in English. Like, I can't even name one that's printed in English. So it would give us a lot more options for sports manga, other than, you know, the basic ones like basketball and soccer, we have quite a few of those. Like, we have real, we have slam dunk, we have sign or football, we have Captain Su uh, no, it's Captain Subasa, we have whistle. Like, we have a lot. Like, we have so much of those two kind of sports. We even have Eye Shield 21, and we don't have a baseball manga yet. And I feel like he would be the one to bring over. Now, I know you might be saying there's also a major one out. There's quite a few other baseball and uh, mangas that could get adapted. But I feel like Ace of Diamonds is probably the best one in my opinion. And it's one of my favorite mangas of all time. So I love Ace of Diamonds. I highly suggest you guys get into Ace of Diamonds. If you don't like it, then drop it. I mean, if you don't like the first like few episodes, you probably won't like the rest of the series. Even though it does have a lot of development of characters. I feel like if you don't like that, you'll probably not like the whole series. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, I would definitely say check it out. But... Yeah, on to the next series. Next up is a series that you guys will all probably want English as well, and that is Naoki Urasawa's Billy Bat. Now, I don't know like anything about Billy Bat, but I've just heard that this is one of his best works ever, and this this could be better than Monster and also 20th Century Boys, but that's from what I've heard from some people that have read it off scans, and I just want it in English, since I feel like this could do very well, because everyone loves Naoki Urasawa in English. Like, I feel like almost everyone in America has at least now one now Kurosawa work. If it be Sneeze, Asadora now, 20th Century Boys, Monster, like I feel like everyone picks up at least one at one point in their manga collecting journey. So I feel like getting Billy Bat would also be a very good one. But I do think that someone told me that there was some racist stuff in it, so I don't think it will because if it is printed that they would get automatically cancelled. And I don't feel like you can really censor stuff like that too easily, so I feel like they just would just decide not to print it at all because if there is stuff like that then i don't think they ever will but i could be wrong i was just told from one of my friends that there is stuff like that so it's not too much but there's like a scene or two that does that and you know biz they would not print a series if they had anything like that so i don't think billy bat ever will sadly but i really do want billy bat at one point because now kirosawa is an amazing manga cut and i want all of his works in english but of course, there's going to be one-shots that we're never going to get. Like, every manga has some one-shots that we're just never going to get. Like, um, I forgot what it's called, but uh, Yoshiro Togashi had a one-shot before Yu Yu Hakusho. Or, like, not one-shot, but a series that got, like, four volumes that probably will never come to English. And stuff like that. So, I feel like I really want Billy Bat, but I don't see it coming out. And I don't see all of now Kurosawa's collection coming out, sadly. So, it's kind of sad. But, yeah, Billy Bat's the main one I want from now Kurosawa. So, now we're just going to move on. Next up is the Shuzo Oshimi work that my boy East Coast Manga just read and said it was pretty good, but very dark. And I, he said he probably thinks it'll never get English release at all because it's nothing at all like any of Shuzo Oshimi's other works. And that is Drifting Net Cafe. Now, this is kind of sad that it probably won't ever get an English release from what he says because of what is in the story. Because there's a lot of, uh, what he told me, grape without the G. So I don't think that probably will, but... I hope at one point maybe like Dark Horse prints in because it's a seinen, but uh, probably not. I mean, even if Dark Horse printed it, it's seven volumes, I feel like Dark Horse would just stop printing at three and we would just all get annoyed. So it'd just be annoying. And I feel like Shuzo Oshimi works usually don't go to Dark Horse. Like we've had one by, well, not one, but I think two by Vertical. Yeah, Fathers of Evil and Blood the Tracks. We had Denpa make quite a few. And we also had Kodansha do Happiness. So I mean, I don't see Dark Horse getting it, but. I definitely want to see Drifting Night Cafe, and I might have to read the scans because I'm making a video about Shuzoshimi at one point, so I definitely will have to read it, but I just I just wish I had an English release because from what I've heard, it's very good. Of course, it does take inspiration from 
drifting classroom. It's just like an adult version of a drifting classroom instead of like, you know, kids as main characters, it's adults. But I still want to read it. I mean, I've heard it's not as good as drifting classroom, but I heard it's pretty good still. So what can you do? It's probably not going to print in English, sadly. So I can't do much, but yeah. Moving on with Shuzo Shimi works, actually. I want to put, say, Moving on with Shuzo Shin Works, actually, I want to put on Avant Garde Yumiko. Now, Avant Garde Yumiko is such a weird kind of story, purely because this is one of Shuzo Shimi's first works, and it was still when he was, like, trying to know what his style was. So he still had the facial expressions down, but he tried making a comedy in Avant Garde Yumiko. Now, this is a one-shot series, it's only one volume. In my opinion, I really enjoyed it. I read the scans of it. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was very funny how he... Still have the facial expressions of like a dark psychological series inside this comedy. And even the premise alone is very wacky and funny. Um, I, I can't really explain it too well. So if you want, I'll literally leave like a link in the description below. It's like a premise to it. But I think it's hilarious. I think it definitely could, won't get English print actually. Because the series is older than me. But I feel like it would be a funny series. And a lot of people probably pick it up. Because of Shuzo Shimi. And be like wow this is nothing like any of his other works. So I, I love it. I think it's a hilarious series. I, I think I rated like a 7 out of 7.5. Which is around the same as Inside Mari for me. So I really did enjoy it. So yeah. I'm not going to talk about any more Shuzo Shimi works though. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And yeah. Now the last thing on this list. Is probably on every single person's list. And that is. Kingdom. Now, I know that a lot of people want Kingdom printed in English, and it probably won't anytime soon, because if you don't know, Kingdom's, I think, about approaching 80 right now, which is kind of insane, and I don't think we will at this point. If we haven't got an English release right now, I don't think they will, because it'll take forever to get caught up, and it would just be very difficult to. Yes, they have so many scans of Kingdom, but all of them have different translations, so it's going to be very hard, even if so. And yeah, I feel like Kingdom would be one of those things that we probably will never get. Even if Dark Horse did attempt to start printing it, they would stop around volume like 10. So we would just get majorly cucked, which is kind of annoying because everyone wants it, but no one will get it. And we have to read scans instead because there's not even digital print of it. So it's, it's so annoying because if you just want to read Kingdom, you basically can't anymore. Well, not even anymore. You basically never could. Which is very sad because it's one of the best selling scenes of all time and it's so, from what I've heard, it's so good. And now I heard the anime is complete trash so I'm probably never going to watch the anime. I'm going to have to resort to reading the scans which I don't like doing because first of all I get migraines while reading scans. And second of all, I have a lot to read at this point. Like I want to read a lot of things that are, I have physically. So I would want to get through that first because it feels like weird reading something off my computer when I still have a bunch to read in here. So yeah, that's just my opinion, but that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you like my content and want more of it, please follow my socials of Instagram or my Twitter. Or if you like what you just talking about otaku stuff, please follow the podcast. The link's in the description below and also my co-hosts. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I see you guys next time. Peace!